Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. It is September y'all. I can't believe it is already September. This year is flying by. Makes me a little sad because that means summer is gonna end soon. I love me some summer y'all. Summer has been good to me. But anyways, what better way to start off the month of September than with a good old empties video. We got our Trader Joe's bag full of a bunch of stuff in here. I have been running through lots and lots of products. I am still on a <laughs> journey to use up my stash. Maybe not fully use it up, but just lessen my stash. <laughs> and it's hard, y'all. It's hard when you are like a influencer like me and Although most of the stuff that I have in my stash is bought by myself. Every now and again, brands will gift me stuff and that, you know, doesn't really help with me using up my stash. But we're out here trying and I have these empties to prove that I've been trying to use up my stash. But first, before we get into this empties, of course, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, so if you're subscribed, you didn't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and hop into these empties. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna be pulling things out of my bag. I really have no rhyme or reason, just whatever I grab is what I will talk about. For things that I love and that are in every single empties. I'm just going to try to run through it really, really quickly and just get to the stuff that is newer things that I'm trying for the first time or, or I've only tried for a couple of times and let y'all know whether I would repurchase these items or if I'm going to pass. So the first thing we have right here, it's from The Do. This is their One Love Co-Wash. One of my subscribers, Tina, she sent this to me a while back and I, y'all, I had so many products to get through. So finally I was able to try this out. And I do like this co-wash. You get 16 fluid ounces, so it's a big jar. It's available at like Walmart, Target, so very accessible. It cleansed my hair, it felt pretty moisturizing, it didn't feel drying or anything like that, which of course a co-wash is supposed to be on the conditioning side. I like this, but the only thing is, is that it has a silicone in it, and silicones kind of prevent your hair from being cleansed, in a sense. So the fact that this cleanser, this co-wash has a silicone in it, makes me a little like, mm, I don't know if I'll repurchase this. I did like it, it's really good. The only thing that is kind of turning me off is the dimethicone in it, but yeah, I, I just have other co-washes that don't have any silicones that I will reach for before I go and repurchase this. So this is a good one. If you don't care about silicones, this is definitely a good one to try out, but I'm gonna pass. Next, no surprise, we have Negas Banda Shebe Pre-Poo Treatment. Love this, holy grail, we'll continue to use this. I'm pretty sure I have plenty more in here. Actually, I do. Let me go ahead and grab it. Yep, another Shebe Pre-Poo. Since we're talking about Negas Banda, I have this Nurturing Remedy Hot Oil Cream Pre-Poo Treatment. Now, this is kind of like a multi-use thing. This product is very reminiscent of grease but with a better for you ingredients so this can be used as like a hot oil treatment it could be used as a pre-poo you can use it to like grease your scalp you can use it as like a butter to seal in the moisture in your hair you can use this so many different ways i do like this a lot as a pre-poo it really melted into my hair really moisturized it really protected it from you know otherwise very stripping shampoos it has some slip it doesn't have as much as the Chevy Pre-Poo. I do like this and I would repurchase this. I'm not in a hurry because the Chevy Pre-Poo literally has me in a chokehold. So I'm more likely gonna buy the Chevy Pre-Poo over this, but during a sale, I would definitely repurchase this. Next, we have the Mish Beauty Warm Sugar Cookie Limited Edition Holiday Deep Conditioner. This comes around during Black Friday 
And y'all, Misha's deep conditioners never disappoint me. They're always amazing. This smells really good. It smells like, you know, grandma's homemade cookies. Moisture is out of this world. Slip is amazing. Would I repurchase this? I, I would. I think I would. It's very similar to the rest of her deep conditioner. So it's really about your scent preference and i'm obsessed with the peach the indulge and the pumpkin spice but i think i would pick this up now that i have tried it it does smell good and i actually think i have another yep i have another Mish beauty and deep conditioner this is the strawberry champagne i picked this up during the world natural hair show back in april this is a limited edition similar to the cookies and cream so not cookies and cream warm sugar cookie <sighs> y'all i want me some cookies and cream obviously but anyways it is limited edition similar to the warm sugar cookie so you can't always find these two deep conditioners but whenever she brings these back in stock like i said during black friday definitely pick up both of these this smells really good amazing love it like i said mish is amazing when it comes to moisture some of the most moisturizing deep conditioners ever so definitely would repurchase this it's all about scent again what's your preferences for scent next from sorenzo beauty we have the fenugreek and rice water co-wash i think i mentioned this in my summer favorites video if i'm not mistaken so this means that i absolutely love this it is basically a perfect marriage of a co-wash and a clay wash it is nice and thick like a clay wash but it has some slip like a co-wash and it's also very conditioning like a co-wash i can cleanse my hair i can detox my hair and all that good stuff in one step serenza beauty has amazing ingredients this is an eight fluent ounce and it lasted me a good little while the only thing is i have looked on serenza beauty's website to try to repurchase this i can't find this on the website this is actually sent to me in pr earlier this year and I was just now able to get to it so I don't know if it's like limited edition or what but this is definitely intrigued me to try more of the co-washes and I've also heard that the fenugreek and rice water line in general is just bomb so I might try some other products from the fenugreek and rice water like collection not just the co-wash but see what other types of products they have in this collection but love this definitely will repurchase this if i can get it but i'm gonna repurchase some sorenzo or going to purchase some sorenzo beauty products um so that i can try those out since this was bomb so we got two olaplex products here i have the olaplex hair perfector number three this is actually my second bottle of this that i've gone through i really do like this i feel like it has made a difference in my hair although this is only a 3.3 fluid ounce this time around it did last two uses <laughs> still not a lot of uses for how much it cost which is like $28 for this little bottle. The first time I went through this, I used it up in one use. So this time around, I did use it twice, like I said. And I'll mention how I was able to make it spread in just a second. But this is amazing. It really does strengthen my hair. It really does revive my curls. My curls just bounce back once I rinse this out of my hair and continue with my wash day. I think I know what the hype is about with the Olaplex, at least with this product. Now, I also have the Olaplex and number zero, which is their intensive bond building hair treatment. So basically these two go together. You'll go ahead and spray this on your hair. You, a little bit is supposed to go a long way, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I use this up in like two or three uses and it is a 5.2 fluid ounce. And then you go on top with your number three. And so that's how I was able to spread this through two uses rather than just using up in one use um I don't know I don't know if it's because I used it with the number three that I can't really tell much of a difference to my hair when I use this I do have an alternative that I do like better from curls and potions it's their curl bond mist I think is what it's called it's like a similar product but I actually notice a difference in my hair with that one 
rather than this one. It also is more cost effective. I believe you get eight ounces for 20 something dollars versus 5.2 ounces for 20 something dollars and y'all know curls and potions is always having a sale so i can get it even more affordable than 20 something dollars i can get it maybe like for 15 dollars or whatever depending on the sale but anyways love this we'll repurchase this i actually went ahead and purchased the big daddy of this I found it on Nordstrom. I'll go ahead and link it down below. In addition to the rest of the empties, I'll link them down below if I can, if they're not limited edition or anything. But this number zero, like I said, I don't really see a purpose for it. I didn't really notice it do too much in my hair. So right now I'm not gonna repurchase it. I'm gonna stick to my curls and potions alternative, but I mean, maybe one day if I can use my Ulta points or pick this up on sale at Sephora. I may repurchase this, I don't know, we'll see. Next up we have another bougie product. This is from Brioja, this is their Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. I've said this before that I've heard mixed things about this, wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about this deep conditioner, but I really did like it. It was very moisturizing to my hair. It made my hair feel like butter once I, when I rinsed it out. It has a really good slip, so I'm able to detangle my hair. It smells really good. It smells nice and fruity. My only issue is that it is like 30 something dollars, almost $40, I think. It's like $38 for eight fluent ounces. Do you need this? Absolutely not. You do not need this, but it is a really good deep conditioner and you know every now and then you want to treat yourself you want to try something luxurious for your hair then i would say pick this up but pick this up during a sale do not buy this full price pick this up at ulta i believe yeah ulta has briogeo now so you can use your Ulta points, you can catch it on sale during their 20% off sale. You can catch this at Sephora sale as well. I believe Briojo has a few sales here and there as well. I don't think they're, you know, that good of a sale. They're similar to like the Sephora and Ulta sales where it's like 20, 25% off. So you might as well just buy this at Ulta or Sephora so you can get your points. Y'all have been telling me that Briogeo is no longer black owned, that they've been sold. I forget who they've been sold to. And y'all know when companies sell, they sometimes change products around, change formula. So I hope that they don't. I hope that they just leave it alone, but we'll see. So that's also something else that might hinder me from repurchasing this again, but I did really enjoy it. We have another favorite of mine, which is the Chocolate Kinks and Curls, Russell Cocoa Creme Clay Wash. Absolutely love Chocolate Kinks and Curls clay washes. They're top notch. They're number one. I will always repurchase them, especially the Ross Soul Cocoa Cream. It's one of my favorites. We have another Chocolate Kinks and Curls clay wash. This is the, their newest clay wash, the Le Vian. I always say this wrong. Le Vian Cocoa Cream and Strawberry Clay Wash. So this has Ross Soul and red clay. I say this all the time, the Rasool and the Red Clay and Hibiscus are my two favorite clay washes from Chocolate Kinks and Curls. This is basically the baby of the two. This was also amazing, just like the mama and the daddy. So I will definitely continue to repurchase this. I have a review on this where I go more in depth, so I'll go ahead and link that up in the cards for you, just in case you wanna check it out don't want to talk about this all day because I really can talk about chocolate kinks and curls all day but just know that I love this and I would definitely repurchase. We have another product from Negas Banda. This is the Green Smoothie Anti-Shedding Rinse Treatment. This is also another favorite from Negas Banda. I use this as a pre-poo treatment as well but mainly focus this on my scalp. You can use it for all over but I focus this on my scalp, rub it in and it helps to melt the tangles at my roots. My hair gets really tangled at the roots probably because my hair is very dense and I have a lot of hair up there. So it gets tangled on itself, but once I go in with this, it definitely melts away those tangles. So I'll go in with this um, just on my scalp, on my roots, and then I'll go in with something like the Shebe um, Pre-Poo Treatment, also from Negas Banda, and then use that on the length of my hair 
And my hair is bomb every time I go in with my shampoo or my co-wash or my clay wash, whatever it is. My hairs are nice and prepped for whatever cleansing product I decide to use. So love this, definitely will repurchase this. I already probably have this <laughs> in my stash back here. So that goes to show how much I love it. Y'all, guess what I found? Another Nuggets Bonded Shepe Pre-Poo. So I had three of these. I go through these like water. Next thing we have is from Nature's Little Secret. This is the Banana Leave-In Conditioner. I love me some Nature's Little Secret. Every single product that I've tried from them is amazing. I like this a lot. However, although this is amazing, I do prefer the avocado moisturizer. And I know that can be used as a pre-poo, it could be used just as a moisturizer, it could be used as a styler, it can be used as so many things. And I, to use that as a leave-in and it just gives me a little bit more moisture than this one. This is still really good leave-in, but I don't know. I just prefer that one. So I may not repurchase this right away. Probably keep using my avocado moisturizer and keep repurchasing that. But maybe every now and then I'll reach for the banana. But if you have finer hair, if you have less dense hair, then I would stick with the banana leave-in conditioner. The avocado moisturizer might be a little bit too thick on your hair, but if you got thick hair like me, go ahead and get you the avocado moisturizer, okay? My L. I think that's the last of my L in my stash, so we done, we done with my L. <laughs> Another Mish Beauty product, this is the Strength and Protein Deep Conditioner love this deep conditioner it's more of a moisture protein balance deep conditioner but it's one of my favorites and i will continue to repurchase this because it's bomb we have another curls and potions product this is their scalp potion i've gone through so many bottles of this this is probably my my third bottle and i'm almost done with the fourth bottle y'all know i've been focusing on scalp care so every other day every couple of days i'll go ahead and uh, rub this into my scalp and I feel like it really has been promoting some hair growth. I've been noticing a lot of growth in my hair, a lot of length retention and all of that. And I think this has a lot to do with it. And then next we have y'all, I have hair all on these products, excuse me. But <laughs> next we have from Baskin Bloom, the herbal infused hair and scalp oil. So I will use oils on top of my deep conditioners when I'm deep conditioning. Mostly in the fall and winter, I will do the LOC, LCO, whatever method I feel like doing. Sometimes I'll add this to my scalp as well. An oil for me is an oil is an oil. So would I repurchase this? If I run out of oils, which I have a good amount of oils <laughs> in my stash, if I run out of oils, I would repurchase this, but I always end up getting some oil from PR, so I feel like I'm, that's one thing that I'm never going to run out of is oil. But this, this one is a good one if you are looking for a good oil. Alright y'all, so we have two of y'all's favorite gels. One is my favorite and one is not. <laughs> So we have the Camille Rose Curl Maker, and I do have a little bit left, but I might as well just go ahead and get rid of this. Curl Maker, I love, but not by itself for a wash and go, absolutely not, absolutely not for my hair and the type of wash and go that I like. But this under any other stronghold gel, like wet line or I don't use Eco, but I'm sure under Eco this would be really good. I want to use this under the B Girl Custard. I just haven't gotten a chance to do that. But I definitely, no, not B Girl Custard, um, Inner Sense. Inner Sense, I create whole gel. I wanna use this under that and see what kind of combination I can get with that. Super moisturizing, it just doesn't have enough hold for me. But like I said, pairing it with another gel for a wash and go or just using this for my twist outs and braid outs. I love this. It is stolen my heart. I wasn't liking her at first, but I definitely do. And I've had this bottle for a long time. She lasts a very, 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 very long time. 12 fluid ounces. And I'm definitely repurchasing this, okay? This is Uncle Funky's Daughter, Curly Magic. I've tried this thing so many ways. I know this is y'all favorite gel. But I do not like it. It does not work for me. And I know y'all tell me to add more water. No. 
no. Even with that, I just don't like it. It just doesn't give me the hold that I look for. It attracts too much moisture into my hair, which is kind of crazy. But when that does happen, it's like I lose all definition. And I want definition in my hair. So this is a no for me. I didn't finish this. I tried so hard to finish this and get through it. But I need to quit forcing it. And I just need to part ways with it. I'm probably down to like right here. So I did use a good amount. And y'all can tell that I've used I've used this several times, several different ways and it's just a no for me. This is the Camille Rose Coconut Water Hydrating Elixir. So this is kind of like a spray leave-in. I did enjoy this, but I'm not really a spray leave-in type of gal unless I am in like a protective style, then I will use a spray leave-in. So this is a good one, but I will not be repurchasing because that's just not a part of my you know natural hair routine so we actually have like two kind of like edge control braiding type of products so first we have who is this from this is the kiss edge fix edge fixer glued max hold edge control in the scent sweet peach i got this little mini from target which i had no idea that target sold mini like edge controls i thought that was very interesting but happy that i found this because this was actually perfect for when i went on vacation it didn't take too much room up in my toiletries bag it's actually pretty good i mean you can get the little white edges or white crust if you use too too much but this one is actually very workable and it actually does a, do a good job at holding down my edges. My edges really do whatever they want to do and I don't expect something to hold down my edges all day because that's just not going to happen. Like I said, my edges will curl up and they just do what they want to do. But I would recommend this. I definitely want to get another mini size and probably get um, the bigger size as well. And then surprisingly, I went through a Shine and Jam conditioning gel extra hold. Y'all know that all the braiders be using this. And so I always pick this up whenever I have protective style in and also when I do any of my mini braids. So I did mini braids probably back in May and then I also did the boho braids and used this as well. This is just like an OG. If you wear braids at all, <laughs> you have this. So I will continue to purchase this. So the very last item that I have is from Melanin. This is the African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. And as y'all can see, it is not empty, but I tried my hardest to empty this out. I've had this for quite some time. When I first tried this out, I didn't really care too much for it. I thought it was actually very stripping to my hair. And y'all know that I don't mess with very stripping shampoos. That's just not my thing. But I did not use a pre-poo when I tried this. But now y'all know I use pre-poo faithfully. So once I use a pre-poo and I use this on top, I really did enjoy this. I felt like it really cleansed my hair, left my scalp feeling nice and fresh. And then because I was using a pre-poo, my hair didn't feel stripped. But after a while, I think because I've had it for so long, it would not really cleanse my hair that well. And it, I would have a bunch of pre-poo left in my hair, a bunch of product left in my hair. And so you definitely need to use this within the 12 months that it says. I've had this for like two years. <laughs> So basically twice as long as you're actually supposed to have it in your stash, which makes sense why it wasn't performing like it did originally. But I think I would repurchase this. It's a lot of product though, y'all. Like I, I know we'd be complaining, especially deep conditioners. Like I need more product, I need more product. And Whitney gives us a lot of product, but I don't need this much shampoo. I really don't so I want to repurchase it but I just know it's gonna take me forever to get through again so we'll see all right y'all so that is it for all of my empties went through a good amount of products have a few stylers don't really have any styling creams in here which I'm kind of sad about because those are things that I really need to get through but I did have some gels so that's good and I always have a bunch of deep conditioners co-washes and, and pre-poos those are the things that your girl is going to get through anyways let me know what your thoughts are about some of these products especially like the newer products that i've tried have you been going through your stash hopefully this will give you motivation to get through some of these products 
I'm a little sad because I'm in this protective style. Although I do get a break from my hair, I know that I'm not gonna get to use up products like I normally do. So as soon as these braids are taking up my hair, we're gonna get right back into using up this stash. But if you have any questions or comments, I definitely leave them down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.